to McLaughlin. McLaughlin's ball forward to Oates, back to goal. Oh, that's a great ball for Ollie Clark. Ollie Clark forward to Lapsley. Lapsley into the air. Lapsley goes down. Penalty. Penalty for Mansfield as Lapsley is brought down. That was a great ball forward for Lapsley. Lapsley got to it first. He's brought down and it is a penalty for Mansfield. That was very clear. Stags fans are chanting off, off. It was a goal scoring opportunity. Yellow card. It's a yellow card. So, who's going to take it? Macca obviously missed that one 13 seconds in at the weekend at Leighton Orion. Looks like it might be Reese Oates. It's a great ball forward from Clark to Lapsley. So, a penalty for Mansfield. Missed the penalty on Saturday, of course, through Stephen McLaughlin. Well saved. It is. Reese Oates against Nick Zanev from the penalty spot. Here comes Reese Oates and he scores! Sends the keeper the wrong way. Reese Oates with his first goal of the season sends the keeper the wrong way. A real bit of quality from Mansfield with that ball forward from Ollie Clark to Lapsley who was tripped in the area and Resos converts and with 32 minutes one goal, Mansfield have a goal back, it's Mansfield Town 1, Wimbledon 2. Well, that's had to take a penalty, low and hard, keeper's left hand side, no chance for him, absolutely buried that in Reece Oates, it's a first goal of the season. in for Mansfield uh, right down by their own corner flag Harbottle is drying the ball that is throwing it down with rain now ball's headed for by Wimbledon Harbottle heads it away Lapsley controls it it's back to O'Toole uh, Bowery is surging forward O'Toole is coming forward himself over the halfway line plays it out to Bowery on the right touch line Bowery goes back to Clark Bowery again, crosses it into the middle towards Lapsley, heads it to the net, what a fantastic goal, a brilliant crossing from the right hand side and George Lapsley heads it into the net, fantastic goal and with 40 minutes on the clock at the one call Stadium, Mansfield a level, it is Mansfield Town 2, AFC Wimbledon 2. What a fantastic goal, the same moments ago George Lapsley, we know he's capable of scoring goals particularly with his head, that was a thunderous header, no chance for the goalkeeper, absolutely rip-roaring header, in the back of an net and Paratic is restored at 2-2. Lee Brown throws it down the line, flicks off the head of Bowery, it's up in the air of Assal, over the Mansfield throw it. Andy Garner gives it to Perch, who throws it inside to Harbottle in the centre circle. Harbottle sweeps it out to McLaughlin. He's got uh, Quinn down the line, goes back to Harbottle. And then O'Toole. And so trying to stretch Wimbledon from side to side. O'Toole slides it forward, Barry will get on the end of this. Low ball, it's middle to Ollie Clark. Ollie Clark pulls it back, low shot, deflected into the net. And Maris's shot is deflected into the net. And Mansfield have the lead. Lovely football again from Mansfield. George Maris's shot is deflected into the net. And with 56 minutes on the clock at the Walk Hall Stadium, Mansfield have turned this around. It is Mansfield Town 3, AFC Wimbledon 2. Well, terrific football again. Stretching Wimbledon from all angles. Yes, the final shot took a little deflection, but it's in the back of the net. That's all we care about. And uh, Stags complete the turnaround. 2 0 down. 3 to up. Still plenty of time to go. Loads of life left in this game. We've certainly brought this one back. From the dead at 2 0 down, 3 2 up. O'Toole. He deserves a goal tonight for his effort for me, Bowery. Uh, Maris out to McLaughlin on the left touch line. Hartigan. Perch for Maris. O'Toole. Perch. 
Maris, O'Toole. He's still playing keep ball here. Pretty effectively. Lapsley. Maris. Switches play to McLaughlin. What a lovely ball that is. McLaughlin. Back to Harbottle. Then Hartigan. Up to McLaughlin. Taking on Ogun Derry, the substitute. And it's a throw in for Mansfield. On the left hand side, level with the edge of the area. McLaughlin will take it. McLaughlin throws it inside to Clark. McLaughlin again. McLaughlin crosses into the area. Cleared away by Brown for a corner. He did well, Brown, really. To clear that away from a corner. It was right in front of his own goal. Didn't panic. Didn't slash at it. Definitely, definitely the better side, Martin. I know we've got the man advantage, but can we get a fourth goal? George Maris then to take the corner for Mansfield from the left-hand side. Curls it into the middle and headed it to the net by Riley Harbottle, who has his second goal for Mansfield. Great corner in from the left-hand side from George Maris and Harbottle attacked it and headed powerfully into the net from five yards. And with 70 minutes on the clock at the Walkall Stadium, it is Mansfield Town 4, AFC Wimbledon 2. Keep the pressure on AFC Wimbledon. Maris with the corner into the middle. Oh, almost. Perch turning it goalwards. O'Toole does well to head it forward. Now Laps, he might get it on the end of this. Pulls it across and Swan turns it into the net. Swan has his first goal for Mansfield. Brilliant play by George Lapsey on the right hand side. He pulls it across the face of goal. And Will Swan turns it into the net from close range. And with 87 minutes on the clock. AFC Wimbledon 2. Well, what a selfish play there. Terrific pullback and Swan getting his first Mansfield Town club goal in the amber and blue. Been a five-star performance tonight after a frustrating start. Terrific finish. Five goals 